Hello and welcome to the stream, fellow daydreamers. Today we're going to be finishing up getting the Yiga armor set that we had uh, started working on towards the end of last stream <coughs> on Friday. So I'm really excited. I hope we find it. Um, I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, I know that for many, uh, there's a lot of holidays and a lot of things going on. So I appreciate you spending a couple hours of your day <laughs> hanging out with me in the stream. Um, so, and I hope that you are all enjoying this time. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Sorry, I'm a little congested. Allergies are super bad here right now. Um, <laughs> hi, Jerry! Welcome to the chat! <laughs> I'm so glad! So glad I caught you! I know you're like, it's like really late for you. <laughs> so we are looking, how have you been? How have you been? We are looking for an area that has like a coliseum look to it with a bridge into it. Um, I'm guessing that it's over here. So we're going to keep going up. Um, we did see like old coliseum pieces, so... Fingers crossed that it's over here. <laughs> huh, shrine of light nearby. What's all that down there? That's so weird. There's just like a random little stable here. I'm kind of wondering if maybe... Maybe it's over there since that is like the Colosseum piece. But we'll explore this area first. Oh! Oh no! Oh no. I'm sorry that it's waking you up. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. Ever since the people sent the weather all screwy, horses hate the place. No horses meant to travelers meant no business for my stable. I was ruined. I had no choice but to relocate and open a mini stable over here. But boy, do I miss the old spot. Still got both your ears, or did I talk one of them off? Anyway, let me know your name so I can confirm that you're a stable member. <laughs> ah. Aww. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Your name is Link, you say? You're on the stable? So <laughs> I can't talk today. It, it probably has to do with like my congestion. So sorry if I'm not as animated today. Oh, okay. Like when you woke up, you realize. Oh, okay. So I didn't wake you up. That's good. I'm so glad. <laughs> I would have felt terrible. You're on the stable member list. Here, I'll give you one point to commemorate your first visit to my humble stable. How's he supposed to go get your horses? Oh. Well, it looks like you've built up a nice pile of points. I wish I could give you something, but if you want rewards, you'll have to visit a full-fledged stable. The closest one of those is probably Outskirt Stable, northeast of here. Oh. Ah! Uh. Uh. Ooh, I heard a rumor that some so-called demon king has been revived. Well, no matter what happens, I'll always stick by the horses. What a good guy. I don't think I... I, I don't know, I'd take my horse with me, but I think I would hightail it as far away from as the demon king as possible. <laughs> okay, so supposedly there's some strange weather phenomenon over here that they keep talking about. I'm kind of curious what it is, because I thought we got rid of all of those. Okay. Alright, so everyone, I haven't played since Friday. I'm a bit rusty, so if I die, don't laugh. <laughs> yeah, that was not my best shot. Oh, I'm about to get hit. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah! I finally got my Christmas tree up. I got some outside decor done. Do do y'all decorate for holidays? Go. Oh gosh. 
I am really low. I need to heal. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm gonna use that one. Yeah, I, I'm having a hard time keeping my cats, Panda and Luna, out of it. But so far, they've only knocked over a few ornaments, so I'll take that. That's better than years before, where they've completely scaled the tree. Ooh, those guys are really difficult. Oh, thanks for the follow, Shamfrog. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. An Xmas hat. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's still festive. So I actually was trying to create like a hat for my my VTube model and I'd have to learn Unity to do that, but I, I was actually thinking about putting a Christmas hat on myself. <laughs> oh no! I'm getting my booty handed to me. You know what? Why don't I have my my sages do the heavy lifting here? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Let's get the sages in on this, because I'm about to die. <laughs> I promise, I, I don't normally play this bad. <laughs> see. There we go. So, Shomfrog, have you played Tears of the Kingdom before? Let's see, let's get that guy going. Yeah, let's get rid of the little choo-choos that... Yeah. Actually, that was kind of useful. They did a bit of damage to these guys. Look at their heads. They have, like... They're pretty... They're a big deal. You can tell by the constructs, like, horn on their head. Because, like, we, uh, we use those to upgrade, uh, like, weapons and stuff. Let's see. Oh, I don't like that he's... he's Mess with my boy Sidon. I can't get a clean shot on that guy. He's. <laughs> I feel like I'm just swinging around all stupid. So let's let's actually be stupid. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. There we go. All right, his shield's broken. Oh, so is my weapon. Bummer. All right, we'll we'll do this. Oh, you play Genshin? Okay, I I played for a little bit. Um, my one of my kids really loves Genshin, so I watch her play it a lot. That's cool. Um, I will say like Tears of the Kingdom has that same open open feel that Genshin has. Very open world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These guys ha better have some great loot in that chest over there. I am taking one for the team. There we go. All right. <laughs> Whew. That was quite the warm up. Nice. Oh, cool. Um, let's see. What's that? Oh, that might actually... Sorry, my big head's in the way. Um, let's organize these. Mm. Nah, we'll, we'll leave that. We're gonna collect their horns, though. Huh? Yeah, I have shields. Alright, let's see what's in this chest. Hopefully it's really good. It's not any better. I wasted so many arrows. <laughs> like, none of my shots hit. <laughs> oh, interesting. I don't necessarily... Ooh, what's that? Huh. That's interesting. That's more of the Colosseum. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know that those constructs were worth all that trouble. <laughs> huh. You no, 
know what? I'm gonna mark that. Oh wait, that's where we've been. I'm a dork. I was so turned around. Oh, Hollow Knight? That sounds like fun. Um, my son plays that one. <laughs> um, and I've, I've played a little bit of that. It's really cool. He also, um, he also likes Shovel Knight. I don't know if those two are related. They look similar. But he also likes that one too. Okay, so I feel like we're getting... Oh, wait. <gasps> There's bananas. So um, the bad guys that we're looking for, um, they're obsessed with bananas. <laughs> All right. Did you really think someone would leave such perm... perm Premier bananas just lying around? This is for the boss. Oh yeah, and I killed their boss. They're pretty mad. Alright, we probably better heal up, cause... Yeah. It took a beating. Right. Might actually get a better shield out, too. Um... Let's go with this one. Yeah, I totally understand. Games are very expensive lately. Um, yeah, because it's free. <laughs> That's why I play Fortnite. <laughs> um, I do know that sometimes if you look on Epic, they have a, like a free game like once a month. Like, and I have like a, a bot crawler on my Discord too. Ooh, that was a tough hit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're going to actually swap up. The master sword because I want to be able to yeah, I want to be able to use my shield So sometimes uh, games like um, Shovel Knight and stuff go on sale or they go free I have tried a lot of free games And I think it's really cool that epic does that I got Tomb Raider for free through epic <laughs> I haven't played it yet. But I have like they had like all of them free one month. All right, so I think we're probably on the right track. That could have just been a one-off Yiga clan member, but I think we might be on the right track. Hmm. Oh, that is a stable over there. You've been here before. Yeah! <laughs> it's a good, it's a good deal. Good deal. Hmm. All right, so... We're gonna take a look real quick. What I have is a picture from... From the map. So the one we were looking for is by the castle. Oh, can I not zoom in? <laughs> we're looking for the Colosseum by the castle with a bridge going over to it. So I've been looking for this one. I was looking for it towards the end of last stream and it was taking a while. So I think we're further away now. We were looking at this area because there was a bridge going to it and water, but <laughs> and so now we're we're looking for one. We went over here to the ancient tree stump too, because that kind of looked like a coliseum, but but I did not find it. It was just like a well type situation. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've ever been over here, but. I'll have to look at that later. So we are looking for a Colosseum so we can get the Yiga armor. Hmm. This is probably a fortress. Um, there's no bridge to it. So that's the castle. So we're looking for something somewhere in this vicinity. I kind of thought that was a little low, but... Um, the main Yiga hideout that we have to go back to is over here. 
So if we look at the map again, <laughs> you can see that they're kind of close. Like there's the mountain, there it is at the bottom. So it almost looked like it was like level with it, but the map's so messed up. <laughs> like the Yiga clan, they're terrible artists. Aw, uh, well thanks for dropping in, Jerry. Have a good rest of your evening. <laughs> thanks for chatting and saying hi. All right, let's see. So if this is over here, and that would be like the weird little mountain tops that we saw. That's why I thought it would be over here, but we didn't find anything. Hmm. But it was a Colosseum. So I don't know. River of the Dead. Hmm. I don't really see like a bridge either. Like there was this Colosseum, but like <laughs> it's full. It has a Gleok in it, and I don't think that's the bridge is in the wrong direction. Hmm. Here, give me just a second. I think at this point, I'm actually just gonna like Google search it. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see if I can find the location. Because we're looking for the helm. I'm still looking. <laughs> Let's see. Can I open that image? A new tab. Okay. Interesting. That is not at all where I thought that would be. Okay. So. We were really close. It is somewhere over here. Maybe? <laughs> uh, no? I got that. We got this. And then we got that. Man, I wish I could zoom in on this little map that they shared. But... We are somewhere in between Lake Hylia and the River of the Dead. So, we're gonna try to go over here. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright, let's close that window. Alright, there we go, there we go. Okay. Let's travel here. And then that way we can go further over and see. I thought we were close since we found bananas, but <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't realize this was inside of here. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can't get out one way or another. <laughs> All right, this should help, I think. 
Oh, wow. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can. Oh, gosh. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I don't want to fight that like, like. Not right now. I'm on a mission. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we got to put something in. A little bit more cooler on. There we go. Okay, so we're going towards the yellow marker. It said it's between the like lakes, the two lakes. Which is weird because I don't remember any Hannah Coliseum over here. Also, did not see one on the map. Okay, there's Lake Hylia. Hmm. Let's work our way in from Lake Hylia. That might be our best bet. Wait, what's that? That can't be it. That's... That's too simple. <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> that's so random. I guess that's their little Colosseum, their little fort. That's so stupid. <laughs> Ooh, we can see through the peephole. Who's there? Wait, you! You're Link! Thought you'd ambush us, did you? Well, you're the one getting ambushed today! <laughs> Oh yeah, they're big ones. Okay. Alright, hold on. We... We're just not gonna deal with him because I don't feel like... I don't feel like... It. <laughs> there we go. He's gone. Yeah. And so is he. Okay. There's some stuff on fire. Alright. Well... That seemed slightly too easy. Oh. Working as fast as I can, please. Just give me a little more time. Uh, wait, you're not one of them. Huh? You chased off the Yiga clan? You mean, I can get out of here? Ah. Oh, that's a dude. I thought that was a lady. Hurrah! Those Yiga guys were forcing me to make their weird outfits for them. <laughs> it was awful. Why me? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe because of my reputation for bash flashy fashion. <laughs> I only let CC brand threads touch this body. Hmm. I don't want this mask I made to fall into their hands, but I can't bring it with me. Ah. Say, would you want to take this? <laughs> oh. Cool. That thing is decidedly not my style, but if it's yours, more power to you. I'm actually dressed like this so that I can confess my feelings to the woman who stole my heart. Her name is Nobo. She's beautiful, with a fashion sense that rivals my own. Hey, I think that was one of the ladies that was also kidnapped. She's probably at a stable somewhere, I think. Maybe. Oh. At any rate, we're meant to be, so I know this fate will guide me toward her. Take care now. I hope you find someone to love, too. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I don't want to use the Master Sword for that. Oh, there was like nothing in there. This is hardly a fortress. They thought this was a fortress? <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> they are crazy. Yiga Clan Journal. The Yiga Bolton Confidential Updates from the Hideout. Item 1. Our research division has developed new vehicles. Okay, so we already know about this stuff. Earthquake technique. We don't know about. Okay. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? <laughs> uh, okay. That's amazing. Alright, let's get self-portrait mode. Alright. <laughs> uh, Link. <laughs> that's amazing 
Ah, uh, yeah. We're gonna replace that. Oh no, my album is full! That's... That's terrible. Okay. Well, we don't need their terrible map anymore. Let's delete that. I, that was even a bad picture I took. It didn't even help me. Um... Hmm. I feel like I might still need those. It's not fair. They don't give you enough space for pictures. I take a lot of pictures. Alright. Probably because I take random random photos like this. <laughs> That's like if anyone likes Tangled, that kind of reminds me of um when <laughs> when Flynn Rider finds like the wanted posters of himself and they're like awful. That's kind of what that reminds me of. Is there anything around here? Normally, they have better loot than this. What is that? Huh. Oh! I didn't mean to set that off. Hmm. Nothing really over here. And I'm just like not hitting anything today. Okay, so now that we have everything, let's remove that stamp because that was terrible. We were so off. This is where we need to go. We need to go back there. So let's go to the Skyview Tower. We're gonna have to change. I should have changed before I. I jumped to that location. <gasps> Ooh, oh. I don't know why I'm so tired. All right, let's go ahead <laughs> and change so we don't kill Link. Yeah, he's not doing too hot. Where's his lobster shirt? There we go. And... There we go. Alright. This is like one of my favorite things. Like about this game. So cool. Okay, we're going towards blue. Are we going the right way? Yes, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way down because our entrance into that hideout was like under that waterfall area there we go there's also a shrine somewhere in there as well that we're looking for <laughs> oh no Normally when I fall like that, I just, I'm fine. <laughs> I like hurt myself. Okay. Let's sort this. We need the full Yiga armor. This feels outrageous to put on. Okay. Mm. Oh, you're a Yiga clan, huh? All right, come in. Yeah, last time we came here, we couldn't get in. Yiga Blade Master Station. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what in the heck? Oh, 
This is the Yiga Blade Master Station. It is where Giga Blade Masters are made and unmade. You brave the elements to take this first step. That speaks well of your passion to become a Blade Master. But my exam is more rigorous still. Do you have it within you to succeed? Will you try and give it your all? I'll do it! <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well then. Listen closely to my words. The test is unforgiving. This is what you must do. Oh. In Gerudo Canyon, there are five frog statues with the identifying marks of the Yiga clan. I will reveal the locations. Oh good, okay. Oh. Nice! What you must do is travel to the five frogs and make an offering of mighty bananas to each one. Mm. This harsh land will lash you mercilessly with cold and heat. Your travels may prove your end, but if you succeed, I will name you a Blade Master. Furthermore, I will personally give you these mighty bananas. Oh, nice. Mm. I have no more bananas to give you for now. If you need more, a true Blade Master is expected to find their own. Now, let the test begin. <gasps> What's back here, dude? Wait! No one is allowed in there until they have passed the Blade Master exam! Aww. I do look like a little puny underling next to him. That's funny. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> look, my whole squad's out here waiting for me. Alright. Let's go ahead. I wonder if I have to do this in the Yiga armor. Alright. Where'd they go? He had them marked. Dang. I went okay, let's let's okay, there we go, there we go. I'm like, that sucks. <laughs> All right, one of them is over here. <laughs> Do I have to leave bananas at each one? Or can I take my bananas back? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Ooh. Oh, it does take your bananas. That's so sad. Alright, there's like a jet stream right here. I wonder if... Nope, it doesn't blow you up there. That would have been cool if it did though. Oh, there's a butterfly. Okay. You know what? I should probably cook something. Definitely not my bananas because, you know. Let's cook those. Oh, you know what? We don't have fire. So let's grab a weapon. There we go. Oh no. I caught all that on fire. <laughs> Um, look at the fireball. This is blind around. Okay. I eat like a ton of um, meals that I had made. Let's. There we go. I don't like to let my supplies get like less than like 10. So we'll leave it like that. I'm going to actually mark the map. The cooking pot. There's, those are super useful. Alright, we need to get back up there. 
We're going to ascend up there. What? He's like, that's crazy. <laughs> you should be able to. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I see why that didn't work. Okay. Let's see if we can't ascend back up. I think that's sand falling, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way towards the other one. Oh, hi, Lulu! Ooh. I was like, that has to be a Korok. <laughs> All right, Lulu, if you're going to sit and watch me play Link, you got to not sit on my keyboard. <laughs> she likes watching me play games. Okay, we don't want to throw that on him. That would be terrible. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right. Our next one is somewhere over here. Uh, have I gotten that one yet? Yeah, I have. Okay. Huh. What is this? Have I been here before? I don't remember this at all. Weird. Okay. So our offering thing must be somewhere like. Oh, I'm nowhere near what I thought. Okay. It's gotta be up there. Okay. All right, we got this. Spicy peppers. Huh. Well, this is interesting. I wonder if that is a way into the offering place. I've been here before. Huh. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Let's pick that up. Oh shit! <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not doing good. Let's heal. There we go. Aww. <laughs> I love it when she like wants to hang out. Oh! Yeah, I don't want to use that because I save for like big Giga Clans or Lionels. <sighs> you know what? Let, actually, let's confuse him. There we go. Ooh. 
Oh, shoot. Man. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that didn't do it again. Uh, oh, there we go. We got him. All right, let's go. <laughs> Man, that was intense. Uh oh. Okay, so... Our little offering thing is definitely not down here. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, truffles! Nice! <laughs> okay, let's swap to the weapon we don't really care about. <laughs> not that one. This one. There we go. Ooh! Wow, there's some nice gems down here. We are definitely, like, right underneath where we need to be, though, so... We're gonna collect everything in here, then try to finish off that, like, like... And then we'll go up there. Huh. Oh, wow, there's two, like, likes in here. Okay, let's take care of the frost one down here. Oh, nice. And we got some bombs. And another truffle. Alright, let's get that guy. Use it. Oh, there's a nice chest there. Uh, I feel like this is too close. <laughs> That actually worked really well. Ooh, let's see. Hmm, I don't know. That one's, and eh, it's kind of the same as what I got. That one's almost dead, but it's still better. So we're gonna leave that. Like likes don't normally give you good stuff. So that's kind of surprising. Okay, that's pretty useful. Okay, so there was like a whole nother level up here. There was another uh, like like. Yeah, that guy. Ooh. Oh, what? That's not good. <laughs> okay. Let's confuse that one. Okay. And then we'll just blow it up. That's strange. That didn't do much to it. There we go. Oh no! Oh wow. I can go back down and get that. Hmm. That is kind of better than this one. <laughs> Alright. Is my leg like stone down there? Yeah. Okay. And the key eyeball. Okay. Huh. Alright, let's ascend. Swimming through the stone. Oh, it was in here. Okay, cool. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Let's make our offering.
Did that work? <laughs> Those eyeballs are super useful. It took it off the map, so... I'm gonna assume... What's up there? Huh. Oh! Interesting. Okay. Huh, oh, there's like nothing up there. Oh, what? There's more back there. Okay. Oh shoot, I about fell. Did you know we're missing like a bobble frog? What in the world is this? Alright, where's Yonabo? We kind of need him. Or Minoru, can she get back here? No. Maybe. No, she can't. Bummer. Okay. There we go. Actually, let's fight that like like up here and see if we can't get further into that area. Oh, interesting. That affected me. Oh, I don't have a weapon. There we go. Okay. <gasps> there he is. The little honorary guy. Oh, cool. Let's get Minoru in on that. Oh. Okay. I feel like we should go down there and still break it and see what we can do. Let's see. I feel like they wouldn't put that there unless unless we needed to. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> That's strange. Okay, so we do need to get over there, though. Let's see if we can't fly over there. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to actually do anything to it. I feel bad. He's like trapped. Okay. Oh, I could have had that bloopy. Bummer. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. We finished all the ones over here. I'm curious how we're going to get to that one. Let's go ahead and uh, fly over there. I think that might be our best course of action on that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
I'm so tired today. I'm gonna take off my sweater. It's kind of warm. Oh, poor Link. I'm freezing him to death. Yeah, poor Link. There we go. Okay. We are going to the one directly behind him. Okay. We're kind of heading the right way. That's a Gleok. There's gotta be a better... A better way. <laughs> I don't want to fight a Gleok. Okay. It's like right down here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Interesting, interesting place. Okay, let's get our banana out. Hmm. I hate when I pass it. <laughs> there it is. All right. Okay. Alright, so now we only have these two. So let's do this one. It's funny that we had to go through all this just to get that shrine that I'm pretty sure is behind that door. <laughs> All right, let's fly up again. We're just going to skip that whole animation. Like we're skydiving. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yes, uh, honestly, we don't have a lot of shrines in this area. <laughs> Man, I better heal him. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, is that a fairy over there? That's a shrine down in there. Okay, so... So it has to be somewhere under here. Okay. We'll change him back once, uh... 
before we drop it. There we go. Okay. Weird. Okay. Look at our shadow! And two lens! Wow! Oh... This is kind of weird. Hmm. if there's anything under that waterfall. Oh, I should have grabbed that fish. <laughs> Alright, let's... Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Very, very cool. That's interesting cave. Wow. All right, let's... We need to have our ceremonial Yiga... Yiga Garmer on. That's so silly. <laughs> Man, aren't they going to be surprised when they find out that it's Link? Not good, not good. No! Okay. Um, we could try to move it, maybe. Not great. Uh, let's see. Huh. See if we can't stand up there. Huh. Oh, it's kind of sad that that broke. <laughs> All right, we'll just have to use that. We got some nice stuff. What is over there? Korok. This is one of the stranger little caves I've seen, honestly. And where's our little bobble frog guy? There he is. Oh my god. Hold still, dude. I missed. <laughs> I need to get better at hitting those boobies. <laughs> okay, this means that we have one more to go. Nope. No Korok. 
Although apparently we are super close to a shrine. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll keep going. Oh. I'm curious. Let's take a look. Okay, so there's a shrine right there. We are kind of close, but not really, honestly. I'm actually surprised that it's alerting us. <laughs> Considering we are a bit of a ways away from it. There it is. Oh no. Okay, we're not doing that one right yet. <laughs> that one is a challenge. You have to get its little jewel. I think we'll we'll come back for that. Another day. Cause after this one. Yeah. How far away are we? We're pretty far. Let's travel back. After this one, um, I'm not gonna have too much time because I only oh oops I only have until four today. I'm hoping I will have a little bit time more time tomorrow. Depends on what all I get done in the morning. <laughs> all my responsibilities. Oh no! Okay, here we go. That's north. There we go. Oh. That's weird. The chat stopped. Huh. Well, I hope y'all didn't lose connection. That would suck. I hope not. If I didn't respond to you, I just noticed that the chat refreshed. So I hope, I hope I didn't miss anyone saying anything. Oh, let's get more over this way. There it is. Alright, I should have done this one. It was honestly like right there. <laughs> Alright, let's put that in. Okay, I think that was the last one. Alright, so... You made offerings of mighty bananas at all five frog statues in Gerudo Canyon. That fulfills the conditions of the test. Return to the Yiga Blade Master Station. We killed all those Yiga clan members. <laughs> That's how we got all those bananas. Excellent. Oh. Finally, you have returned after making the necessary offerings. 
My intelligence sources have confirmed it. Ooh. You passed the Blade Master exam! I have a reward for you, assuming the mantle of Blade Master. You are permitted to step into the inner sanctum. This reward is valuable and only found in the depths. You should know that it is a great honor to receive one. Pay no heed to the strange glowing ruins you may find inside. We haven't yet decided to do what to do about them. Mm. What's important is your hard work in overcoming the Blade Master exam. All glory to Master Koga! Oh my god. Master Koga is eternal. I'm pretty sure he's really not truly dead, guys. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Um. Huh. All that's here. Okay. All right, let's go in there. <laughs> Let's grab some of this stuff in here. Wow, we did all that just to get into this shrine. <laughs> I really hope it's a blessing. Game logic dictates that it's not, though. Oh, wow, I've picked up all of the bright blooms. Wow, I wonder if I could cook those. It looks like a massive test of strength, honestly. Oh, good! It's a blessing. Raru's blessing, Sarukwak Shrine. Oh, welcome to the chat, Forever in Dreams. <laughs> Hi. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I hope you have a good day too. Thanks for popping in! Yeah, I understand too, like... It can get really busy. Well, I'm glad that you're able to watch it later, so that's cool too. <laughs> so how's your day going? I haven't gotten heart containers in a while. <laughs> I probably should do that. <laughs> I also need to scan my amiibos. Oh, I'm going to post in the Discord, but today um, me and my husband found a uh, Ganon. We found the new Ganon amiibo. Um, and I ordered Zelda, but she won't be here till Friday. So I can't wait to show all of you guys. It's really cool looking. He looks like really good. Like they, he's painted really good, and he looks just like you know in the the memories from Zelda in the past. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I need to get heart containers. Yeah, running errands. Oh, man. I I have a lot of empathy for that. I've been doing that for a couple days, what with Christmas so close. Man, running errands is no fun. I hope it goes really smoothly for you. I hope you get accomplished everything you set out to do. <laughs> oh, I hear a little bobble frog. There he is. Oh, he's like really stuck back there. All right, let's see if we can catch the bloopy that runs out. Oh, oh, I almost got it this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll post, I'll post that, like, probably, probably later today. Oh, 
There was quite a few, like, at my local... Oh, shit! <laughs> Who puts a bomb flower right next to some ore? The developer who did that knew. Rest in pieces, Link. <laughs> Alright, I think that's really every... Oh, I think that's really everything that's in here. Sorry, I'm so congested today. I sound very nasally. Oh, it's me again! Mm. Oh! You are now officially a blade master. I have to. Because that's kind of funny. Because, like, they don't know that it's, like, me. <laughs> Remember, it's in Carusa Valley, north of Gerudo Town. For anyone else, I'd say that's quite a journey. But given what you're capable of, you'll be fine. Besides, it's important that the Yiga clan knows we have a new blade master to look up to. Oh, okay. So, bro just sent us on a quest? I wasn't paying attention. As a blade master, you are allowed entry to the inner sanctum. Feel free to take your time in there. I will be waiting for another blade master candidate to arrive. I only hope whoever's next can live up to your outstanding example. I'm all tiny compared to him. Okay. So we need to go to Gerudo. Outside of Gerudo. What did he say? <laughs> I, I like blanked out. It's in Carusa Valley, north of Gerudo Town. Okay. And this is why I do that. Carusa Valley. Ooh, okay. So somewhere in here, we've got to go talk to all the Yiga guys. Okay. Let's take our marker. Nope. Right, and now... I just want to do... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Carusa Valley. Okay, we gotta go somewhere over here and talk to other Yiga guys. I wonder if that'll give us like our earthquake power that he was talking about. I thought he was gonna give it to us, but he did it. Oh no! Okay. You know, for them wanting them to be out in the sun and stuff. Oh, that's not enough. Alright. Planter lobster. There it is. There we go. Okay. Yellow marker is this way. Oh. Let's see if we can't reach that. <gasps> no! <gasps> that would have been so sad. Oh, cool. Alright. Here's hoping we don't die. That was scary. <laughs> Alright, so we are headed north towards Carusa Valley. Actually, I should probably put on my hot weather pants, too. You know what? I haven't gotten the shirt for that. Huh. I will have to, like start tracking down all the armor. I think that would be fun. Yeah. Where are we? We need to go... Blue marker? Oh, I'm an idiot. For some reason, I was going completely the wrong way. 
You know what else I haven't gotten is the sand boots. I haven't gotten sand boots. I'm gonna let the squad take care of that guy. We're just gonna run for it. <laughs> Oh, he's quick. Huh. Interesting. There's like vehicles over here. Oh, there's a Yiga base over here. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna have to change. Huh. Yeah. I'll build this vehicle, and then I'll change. That's kind of interesting. There is... A rocket over there. No! <laughs> That's terrible. There we go. Not the best vehicle, but it'll do, it'll do. Alright! That's promising, honestly. Let's go ahead and actually attach this rocket to our shield. You seriously never know. This could be handy. Alright. Do I have any heat resistant potions? That might be. Um, I do have this one. What's the temperature like right now? Kind of mid. We'll leave it. Yeah, time to go in. Stealthily. Let's put the sages away. I feel like Yiga Clan Blade Masters don't go in. Guns blazing. I don't know. Okay, there's some more Yiga stuff. That looks like a cave up there. Could be wrong though. Okay, there's the frogs. What do you say about the five frogs? <laughs> I need to pay better attention. <laughs> oh. That's not very welcoming. Man, you'd think they were trying to get rid of me. Hey, you're a Yiga clan too, right? You should have realized I was fake crying. So could you get out of my way? Anyway, back to business. Thanks, boo -hoo -hoo. Uh oh. Um... I hope this doesn't expose me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, I wasted that. There 
we go. Where did he go? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I I need to put that mask back on. Oh no. What? Huh. This is kind of weird. Let's take a look and see what he said again. Okay. In Gerudo Canyon, there are five frog statues with the identifying marks of the Yiga clan. Huh. Did- I wonder if this made it like a- a challenge or something in the adventure log? It did not. Oh. <laughs> My hands. I go crazy. Man, look at all that stuff we did. <laughs> okay, I I don't think let's try offering a banana though. What? <laughs> I would I'm surprised there was a Korok there, honestly. Okay. There's five frog statues. There's like frog statues everywhere, guy. I think. What is he talking about? where like we had like a big yiga battle here last time because they store like this stole the thunder home in breath of the wild okay. what is that Um, so I heard that I could learn this really cool move here. I think it's called the earthquake technique. Mm. Get lost. Only Yiga clan members may enter this place. <laughs> and I want to join you. I heard you guys could teach me some cool moves. That'd be have everyone swooning over me. Mm. To join us is to become part of a collective shrouded in secrecy. Our lives sworn to Master Koga. Who were you before matters not. Only your strength, your loyalty, and your skill for espionage. Find out three branches and collect the clan attire. Earn your place among us and the door will open to you. Three branches. I don't know what that means. Maybe then we'll teach you our moves. Now go away! Huh? Go away? I don't get a hint about where the branches are. Or even a peek at what the Yiga clan wears? Oh. Hey, come on, you gotta be kidding me. My mom said, I know my sweet little Mimos will pass the Yiga test first try. That's why his mom, his mom, oh my god. Uh, that's why I came all the way out here. But not only did I not pass, I didn't even get past the front gate. Ah, oh. uh, but if I do join the Yiga clan, then I'll be able to learn some cool moves. 
if I could bust him out, I bet everybody'd be like, Wow, Mimo, you're so handsome and so cool, hmm? <gasps> Whoa! A real live Yiga! Uh... Awesome! I've never seen one in person before. So that's the Yiga outfit, huh? Looks even more stylish than I thought. Okay, that settles it. I'm finding those branches and getting those duds. Then those cool Yiga moves will be all mine. Oh man, I'm gonna be so popular. <laughs> branches. I don't know about branches. Mm. Mm. Alright, come in. Oh, wow. Damn. Okay. Wow, look at that guy. Yeah, we fought here. This is so silly. The fearless demeanor? I heard you had promise, but didn't think you'd earn your place, let alone rise to Blade Master. A splendid feat. But don't let that title bloat your ego. Stay faithful to the cause with a sharp blade and silent heart. Oh, their hair sticks out the back. That's why Link's hair top is yellow and theirs is black. Okay. I imagine you're well acquainted by now, but this hideout is the linchpin of the Yiga clan's subterranean expansion. It's where we train our members, develop our special vehicles, and do whatever else needs doing. I hope you'll find this place can serve you as well as you can serve it. You're- we're grateful to have you, Blade Master. Alright. How do I learn? I can come here and buy bananas? <laughs> Just couldn't resist, could you? You may be young, but you know quality. A true banana man, I see. Ooh. Actually, nah. Oh. Alright. I can't buy bananas from him? Mm. Oh. cleaned him out. <laughs> That's actually kind of a nice bow. <laughs> How I love my little spikes. There's something so deliciously dangerous about having them around. Hey, jerk. Anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? Don't tell me you're here to get some spikes of your very own. Just restock my spiky babies too. But I guess they are for sale, so I can't really stop you. Hand over a hundred rupees. Okay. So, what do I do with that? <laughs> All right. Oh, nice. Okay. That's strange that they make you, like, buy stuff. Alright, let's go this way. We don't really have anywhere else to go, honestly. Bananas. There's a chest in there. What have they done to this place? <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh... Next, I'll just mount this tire here and fix it real tight so it won't come off. Uh? Hey, can you stop looming? I can't focus if you just stand there all silently. Can't you see the Depths team left me an armored vehicle to fix? Huh? You're interested in this racing roadster? My fiendish armor-clad masterwork? The Gloom Dredger? <laughs> huh? 
If you really won't take no for an answer, I could sell you one for 999 rupees. Huh? You're a blade master, aren't you? For you, I'll let it go for a much cheaper 500 rupees. Just as long as you tell me your thoughts on how to improve this vicious vehicle. Oh, and don't tell anybody you got it from me. It'd be bad for me if this got out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I don't need a roadster. Where would I even take it? Whoa. Between that tasteless gloom dredger over there and this Hoover Doom by MMK3, <laughs> which do you think is more beautiful? Oh. Ha! Huh. Easiest question you'll ever answer. The Hoover Doom MK3 is a whole different beast from that all show number over there. Simplicity with a dash of recklessness. Now that's how you craft a dangerous weapon. These guys are crazy. <laughs> so how about it? You've a dash for recklessness yourself, so I'll sell you one brand new for 99 rupees. Hold on. You're Blade Master. Okay, yeah, uh, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Help me out and I'll give you a Hoover Doom MK3 for 50 rupees. What am I supposed to do with it, honestly, though? Mm. Where does it go? Oh. Brand new, complete with a steering stick. Take it. What? No. All right, I do kind of want to play with it though. Dang. It doesn't really go, does it? Okay. This is kind of funny. I'm totally like not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Whee! <laughs> okay, that was kind of fun. I just wasted 99 rupees on that. <laughs> uh, at least I didn't waste like 900. Back. Ooh, I wonder if he's ever gonna teach me that trick. I guess I got suckered into buying that. <laughs> We're getting close. I don't know what he was talking about, about five frogs. There's like frogs everywhere. I think our blade master guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. Maybe this is it? That looks like a symbol, right? Nope. Do not talk to all the guys that want to sell you cool cars. <laughs> Do not talk to the guys with the cool cars. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's going on in here? <laughs> I remember sneaking through here. This is so silly that it's like nothing serious now. Yeah. You know, you look an awful lot like Master Koga's arch enemy, Link. Or at least your blasty blonde hair does. Listen, you do know why we wear uniforms, right? To look uniform. When you think of the Yiga clan emerging from the shadows, you think of them as fearsome, largely identical unit. I mean, oh yeah, okay, some of us are a bit bulkier than others, but that link-like hair of yours sticks out like a sore thumb. So you know what? I'm gonna let you in here. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you in here, at least until you learn how to fall in line. 
Mm. Get yourself to our training ground on top of that tower. They'll teach you how to act right. <laughs> Make it through our training and I guess I'll let you in. If you come back alive, that is. I'm like a blade master, yo. <laughs> okay. What? He's like the only smart Yiga clan member I have found yet. Damn. <laughs> oh, they have the helm again? Though so you're the Yiga who made Blade Master faster than anyone else in history. This is where we mortals train. I won't begrudge you your title. You're clearly capable. You're a newcomer to my arena, and I'll treat you as such. Now, newcomer, Zelda's disappearance has provided us with an opportunity to crush Hyrule's spirit once and for all. But her appointed swordsman, Link, is still out there, alive and kicking, stubborn little wretch. Hence our intensive training. He's a formidable warrior, and we'll all need to hone our skills to take him down. If you value your life, I recommend you do the same Blade Master title or no. Show enough promise. Ah. <sighs> and you might even earn our precious lightning helm. It's our sacred treasure, completely resistant to electricity. But because it's such a powerful piece of armor, it can only be handled by those who have properly trained. Ah. We train by sparring with fellow Yiga. We set a timer and the combatants just keep coming. You'll earn better and better prizes based on the number of opponents you defeat. Let's see if we really want to measure your strength. Show me you can defeat three combatants in under one minute. The training fee is typically 100 rupees, but since you're new to this, I suppose your first round can be free. Now. That should take this challenge. There's no turning back. You must fight until the time limit or your life expires. Mm. Ah. Ah. Ooh, did I win? Ah. Enough. I don't know. I don't know if I won. <laughs> hmm. Oh. I'm impressed you're still standing. You defeated three of our fighters just as I hoped you would. Not bad for a newcomer, I suppose. Ah. Take this. You've earned it. Ooh. Watching you fight, it seems like you could take down six Yiga members next. Oh. If you want to train again, let me know. And don't forget the hundred rupees. Dang. Okay. So, what's the prizes? Oh. On the line is our earthquake technique, capable use of which marks you as a true member of the Yiga clan. Of course, to prove yourself worthy of such a prize, you would have to defeat six combatants. You think you're up for it? All right, I'm going to go broke. Yeah, what's the prizes? <laughs> Good, nothing wrong with a little greed. You defeat three combatants and I will give you some Yiga fabric as proof that you trained with us. Defeat six and I will instruct you in our secret skill, the earthquake technique. If you somehow def manage to defeat nine, then the Yiga clan's secret treasure, the lightning helm, will be yours. Not that anyone's ever been able to do that, of course. On the line is our earthquake technique. Okay. All right. Bring it on. I'm gonna go broke. <laughs> Bust or broke. That's...
<laughs> oh shit. This is actually kind of hard. Oh no. Oh no. I'm panicking and I lost my bow. <laughs> Oh, shoot. No, did I finish? Enough. Did I get it? I don't know if I defeated six or not. Ah, uh, another target smashed. Impressive. Clearly, you've got some real promise. Well done. You've shown you are worthy to learn our secret technique. Accept this teaching with an attentive mind and ready heart. Heck yeah! Cool! At this point, though no member of the Yiga clan has done so before, I believe you could take on nine combatants. If you want to train again, let me know. Okay. Alright. Let's try it. Oh. Just enough time. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna go broke. I'm scared. I don't feel like I did very good last time. Alright. Yeah, there's one. Which time I have left? No. Damn. Please be it. Dang it, I only got seven. Um no. <laughs> oh ho, look who came out of that brawl still standing. And not only that, you defeated seven combatants in the process. Clearly, you've got some real promise. If you want to train again, let me know. Okay, well, we might try it. I want to find out if he'll let us in. Let's see if we can go get all of our stuff. Jeez. I'm like broke. Yeah, look at all that. I think I messed up by getting like a really heavy sword. For obvious reasons, I know I cannot pull out, like, you know, the Master Sword. Let's see. Is there any back here? No. Okay, let's see if this guy will let us through now. I can't believe it, you made it through our training in one piece. Okay, fine. You've proved your worth. I still don't approve of the hair, but we're short on hands, so I can't overlook it. Hurry on in. Heck yeah. Oh. Maybe I am a Yika clan member at heart. Look at all those bananas. Ah, uh. uh, it never ends. How many times must I go back and forth between the depths and the surface? Between this, that, and the other thing, all of this is Link's fault. Huh? Who's Link? You're kidding, right? Link is Zelda's appointed swordsman. He's always getting in our way every chance he gets. The guy's a real pain. Not for long. The Yiga is tightening its net all over Hyrule. I'm sure we'll hear news of his death any day now. 
<laughs> He'd never expect that we're going disguising ourselves as trees to ambush him. He's done for. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Okay. I'm like, why are trees all of a sudden alive? Mm. The way you carry yourself, you must be the one I've heard all the stories about. You've got a reputation for mastering the earthquake technique faster than anybody we've ever seen. Keep it up. The more you use that power, the great Master Koga's infamy grows. Rumors are swirling that Master Koga was defeated by Link. Impossible. <laughs> Do not concern yourself with these lies, but redouble your devotion. Yeah, okay. What was I coming in here for? If you have time to laze about here, then you have time to help. We still don't have enough supplies for the bases in the depths. That Link jerk wreaked havoc at the branches and interrupted our supply of food and materials. Meanwhile, the folks down in the depths are all running around trying to get things back in order. Ah, I'm supposed to be an agent of combat and destruction. Why am I stuck doing this? Some fools keep yammering on about how Master Koga has fallen, but Master Koga is indestructible. That's why I'm going to do everything I can to protect the Iga clan until he's back. I don't see anything of value in here, honestly. Oh. Interesting, okay. Huh. Alright. We have a few minutes. Let's go ahead and try it again. Let's see if we can do the test again. I wonder what happens in here if you expose yourself. It could be kind of funny, honestly. Let's actually see if we can learn that technique. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I'll have to play around with it. All right, let's try. <gasps> I don't think I have the lightning helm yet. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I should really change out my sword. Oh, what? Nice. Oh. Enough. <laughs> All right. I hope freezing them didn't give me away. Mm. Many capable fighters have trained in this arena, but you're the first to defeat nine of your peers. If you're this talented, you might be even a match for the nefarious swordsman Link. Oh. You're clearly more gifted than I dared imagine. Come now and receive our sacred treasure. <laughs> ah. Be ever diligent in your fighting, in your training, for Link's defeat and the honor of Master Koga alike. Link must fall. I'm so tempted. Alright, guys. Okay. I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna be stupid. Okay. Alright. Let's get... Let's get this ready. Okay. Here we go. This is gonna be so funny. Huh? Intruder detected! Do not let him leave this place alive! <laughs> What's gonna happen? Oh, okay. Oh, wow! Okay. He's defeated. 
That's funny. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put it back on. <laughs> That's so funny. Are they going to suspect me now? All right. Let's see. Why are they really that dumb? Oh. <laughs> okay, so that's the same dialogue. He doesn't know it was us. Okay. All right. I do want to try the new technique, and I don't know how that works. Let's see. No. All right. An stoic manual that reveals the secret of the earthquake technique known only to the Yiga Blade Masters. It's a move that involves ex executing a charge attack with no weapons. Okay. All right. Let's let's go try it. And let's take off our bow. Okay. Let's go fight something. There's probably definitely something outside. Oh, look, it's my car. I paid a lot of rupees for this guy. <laughs> Damn, guys, I'm a Yiga clan member. Okay, let's go find a uh, less fauno or something to fight. I want to try out our new earthquake. Okay, there's some guys. Okay, how do I attack him? I don't have anything. Oh, what? What is that? Oh, okay. Okay. That doesn't react very well. What does that even do to him? <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> what does that even do? Okay. We're going to continue just for a couple minutes because I want to try that again. I don't necessarily want to beat them. I just want to see what the earthquake, like, earthquake technique does. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. You have to be very deliberate about where it's at. Okay. <laughs> I 
All right. <laughs> I I see now. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you have to not have a sword on, honestly. All right. So we're going to invite all of our sages back. And change because it's hot. Where? There we go. Oh, wow, it's too hot. You know what? It's okay. Let's just, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's go back to Gerudo Town. Okay. Let's get those extra heart containers that we've worked on. <laughs> and then we'll wrap up the stream. So that was kind of cool. We finished out the armor. We did get a blessing. Um... And we got this really weird, interesting earthquake power. <laughs> I feel like we kind of conned it out of, like, you know, the Yiga clan, but hey. Let's go find the goddess statue. She's in here somewhere. Never remember where she's at in here. Nope, she's not in this room. Oh yeah, definitely not in this room. Why do I never remember where these things are? Oh, we just came from here. Oh, there she is. There she is. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we can get two heart containers. Yay! <laughs> I think next time um, I will try to get an idea for where we need to go to get that heat attack like tunic or whatever it's going to be and I think we'll get that next time so I think this is where we're going to wrap up stream for now Thank you everyone for joining me in the chat. Uh, thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Forever in Dreams. Uh, and thank you, uh, Shalm Frog, for joining and following. Uh, thanks, guys. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow and probably Friday. So, not Thursday this week. Um, I got a few things going on that day <laughs> errands to run, things like that. Um, but yeah, we'll be streaming Tears of the Kingdom again tomorrow. And then maybe on Friday we'll play a different game. Just to kind of like mix it up again. So thank you all for joining. As always, keep dreaming fellow daydreamers. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.